people up. I would too like to come along with us right now. The Savinelli Tortuga line is defined by its ability to look just like a tortoise, the inspiration behind the collection. It most exemplifies the character of a tortoise in the acrylic stem and added ash cap which represent the color of its shell. Pushing the boundaries of the Bent Bulldog classification with its spherical bowl and lack of a full diamond-shaped shank, the 673KS is right at home in the hand and rugged in form. This particular example is presented in dark rustication, tortoise shell patterned stem and shell-like cap that defines the Tortuga series. Having always been an admirer of the Eastern Box Turtle of North America, as well as the tortoiseshell cat, this pipe was a must-have for my collection. It is an amazing and beautifully crafted work of art of briar and acrylic stem work in the tortoiseshell theme. Greetings YouTube, I'm the Spaceman and I've landed in your area once again and tonight I have a very special presentation of a pipe that I planned on getting for a little while here and I put some money aside and I was finally able to acquire this wonderful piece of briar, a wonderfully crafted piece of briar from Italy. And it is, of course, a Savinelli, which is one of my favorite pipes of all time. Very handsome box that they put them in. This particular pipe is the Tortuga Rustic uh, 673KS Briar Pipe, KS meaning king size. If you look on the other side you will see the other label six millimeter anyway I've waited for this special moment so let's get the box open shall we and here it is and it's wonderful little sock are you ready but the Da, da, da. Slow and easy does it. She's beautiful, isn't she? Um, the Tortuga is the Savinelli line that defines the ability to exemplify the design 
that you'll find on a tortoise shell. Um, specifically, uh, more likely a, a box turtle, a northeastern box turtle, which I grew up with and which was uh, one of my favorite things when I was a child, my favorite reptiles, pets, animals, whatever. And um, I always adored the uh, nice tortoise shell look. And here we have the acrylic stem, which shows that in all its beauty. I'm replicating the nice swirling orange and black marbled design. Um, this pipe is a Rhodesian shape and it also comes with this fine ash cap here um, which covers the pipe when you're done smoking. It has like a rubbery insert piece here and um, they recommend not putting this in of course when the ash is still hot. Okay, so this would be after you're done smoking this beauty. Um, I really like the rustication on this pipe, I think, and, and look at that beautiful, um, dark red, kind of maroon colored, um, the wood underneath. And there's the Savinelli Tortuga, Italy, 673KS, Italy. Now, Tortuga is... The Spanish word for turtle or tortoise, hence the um, design, right? Uh, Tortuga is also an island in the Caribbean. Um, it's, I believe it's part of Haiti on the northwestern coast of Haiti. Um, and history tells us something about the pirates of the 17th century having some kind of part of history in that i'm not specifically sure what it is but anyway this is about the pipe itself not the island in, in haiti so um we're looking at the rim which is beautifully done and you can see underneath the underneath color uh, beneath the wood or the where they stained this and they rusticated it here like a very dark dark brown blackish kind of color there's no um, carbon coating in the bowl pre coating so this will have to be smoked from the very beginning hence building a carbon cake now I'm sure this pipe um, originally, of course, it had a uh, balsa wood filter and I replaced that with the adapter because I do not use the filter. And you can see it has kind of a, um, not necessarily triangular, but some kind of a uh, odd shape there in the mortise. Yeah, the shank, the end of the shank, and um, the hole is dead center. Of course, you can't see it with this, but it's it's just a beautiful uh, piece of uh, craftsmanship. Once again, from a top-notch company, Savinelli, a top-notch pipe maker uh, in Italy. So uh, these pipes are very, very nice, and um, they are not top price pipes. They are very affordable pipes. Um, so, you know, I you don't need to spend an inordinate amount of money, like, you know, two or three hundred dollars to get a nice pipe. You can get a nice pipe like this, okay? So let's put it back in its pouch and of course it comes with this upside down the Savinelli collection nice little um, brochure here that shows the different uh, pipes Dolomiti, Onda, Trey, Monsur, 
uh, just a really cool like uh, outline of all the shapes and designs and finishes and there's even an espresso that's something I would love to get right there the espresso the Savinelli espresso you know how cool is that you know related to coffee <laughs> Uh, send uh, Sendino pipe pipe lighters and ashtrays and all kinds of goodies here tampers and what have you so you get this nice little uh, brochure with this and you get this this comes with the cover for this pipe is made of fireproof material it will not burn but it can be damaged if it gets close to embers always make sure that no embers is active before plugging the cover and uh, this is in uh, Italian on the back so uh, I did study Italian in high school but I didn't retain a whole lot of that just a little bit so I cannot understand what they exactly saying there and here it comes with all these filters with the italian flag colors on it how nice and uh, the rest of the stuff materials in the box is um just some little i guess inspection tags quality control all kinds of neat little bits of paper and things that come with it which i will keep nice little artifacts right and it comes with a booklet that actually tells you how to smoke your pipe. And uh, let's see, that's an Italian. Um, how to smoke a pipe, it tells you that. And uh, just uh, product care. And um, just really neat, man. Really um, nice company. Nice uh, pipe makers. And... Um, so there you have it. It's a wonderful uh, product um, made of uh, quality briar. And uh, it's really going to be a nice smoker, I believe. And I, I probably will even enjoy smoking it before it's broken. And a lot of these pipes will actually still smoke good even before they're broken in. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all this stuff back in the box and I will show this demonstrate this pipe in another video and have a nice smoke in it and I'm planning on smoking a tobacco which I just got uh, ordered recently so we'll that'll be a surprise so that's it for the pipe presentation I'm very happy with this it's just one of those pipes that you get that just um, is just exciting to open and look at. A pipe you just really like a lot. And this is one of them. And um, so I'm going to rather enjoy this pipe a lot. So that'll be it. And I'm going to move out now. And we're going to end this video. I'm the Spaceman. And keep looking up to the sky. Because they may just land in your area next time around. Happy smokes.